हेलो गाइस दिस इज बिलाल खान एंड यू आर वाचिंग सिंपलीफाइड कोडिंग वेलकम अगेन एंड आई एम हैप्पी टू से दैट फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी आर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड इन लर्निंग टाइप स्क्रिप्ट नाउ लेट मी क्लियर यू वन थिंग दिस सीरीज इज फॉर एब्सोल्यूट बिगिनर्स सो इफ यू आर एन एक्सपर्ट इन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड यू जस्ट वांट टू माइग्रेट टू टाइप स्क्रिप्ट देन रीडिंग द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन वुड सेव योर टाइम फॉर श्योर सो इफ यू आर एन एक्सपर्ट इन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्विच योर प्लेटफॉर्म देन रीड द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन or go through some quick start or migration guide okay in this series i am assuming the viewers are having little knowledge of programming and after finishing this typescript basic series we will start learning angular so you can imagine this as an angular series where first we need to learn typescript and then we can start with angular now let me tell you what we are going to cover in this series so the first thing that we will cover in this typescript series is the fundamentals we will learn all the fundamental things of typescript you can skip this part if you know javascript or if you know the fundamentals of any other programming language then you can skip this part as in most cases fundamentals of any programming language is same that we already know like data types variables loops arrays etc so first we will learn the fundamentals and if you think you are okay with fundamentals then you can skip this part then after fundamentals we will learn about annotations object oriented features namespaces modules ambients and many more things now the first question is that you might ask is what is typescript so typescript is nothing but a superset of javascript so if you are familiar with javascript then all the code that you write in javascript are valid in typescript okay so typescript is not an entirely new language but it is just a superset of javascript we get some additional features in typescript like the first feature we get is strong typing if you know any other language like java or c sharp then there we need to define the type of the variable first but in case of javascript we do not need to define the data type of a variable and in typescript it is optional you can define and if you want it is not necessary to define the data type of a variable but it has an optional feature of strong typing and and this feature helps sometimes it helps like if the type of the variable is defined in advance then we don't have the problem like unintended behavior okay so we have a feature of strong typing and typescript then we have some object oriented programming features if you know about object oriented features like classes objects inheritance then we have some of these features in typescript okay then we have a process called compile time here so in typescript we have some compilation involved and to be more specific the process is not actually compilation but we can call it as transpilation because the typescript code is converted to javascript code now why it is converted to javascript code because typescript is a superset of javascript and everywhere you use javascript you can use typescript to get the additional features but the browser do not understand typescript the browser understands javascript so typescript code is first transpiled into javascript code and this is what the transcript typescript compiler does okay so the typescript code is transpiled into javascript code now let's get started with typescript so to get started with typescript the first thing we, you need is you need to install node js okay and then you can install typescript so that's it for the presentation guys now i will tell you how do we install node js as i have already installed it in my system but to install node js you just need to search node js in google and from here node js.org you can install node js and for coding we will be using visual studio code an absolutely free tool by microsoft 
it is available for Linux, Mac and Windows. Here I am using Windows but if you are using different operating system then no problem. You can use the tools that I am using as these tools available for all platforms. Okay, so I will be using Node.js, we have to use it. Then I will be using Visual Studio Code. Okay, this is a free tool by Microsoft and the TypeScript is also maintained by Microsoft. It is open source, so it is a good idea to learn this. Now from here you can download Visual Studio Code. I have already downloaded it, so I do not need to download it again. So you need to download Visual Studio Code and install it in your system. You can get for any operating system. I'm using Windows. You can get it for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. Okay. Then you need to install Node.js and I have already installed it. Okay. So I have Node.js in my computer. Now to get started with TypeScript, first we need to install TypeScript. Okay. So to install TypeScript, search Node.js and with node.js you get this thing node.js command prompt okay so we will open this command prompt and here we will run a very simple command okay uh, to install typescript so to install typescript we need to run npm hyphen g that means a global installation and then we need to write typescript okay now it will install typescript in your system Oops, I just forget to write the install. So we need to write npm install hyphen z and typescript. This is the correct command. So you see the typescript is installed 2.6.2 and I have already installed it. So that is why it is very quick. But in your case, it may take some time depending on the internet speed. Okay, so we have types typescript. Now we can run our very first program, which is hello world. Okay, so let's do it. Now I am in my desktop and here we can create a new folder. Let's create a new folder. Type script. Okay. Then we will navigate to the TypeScript folder. First we need to go into the desktop. Okay. So inside desktop I have TypeScript. Okay. Now inside this file, I will create a new file using the Visual Studio Code. So remember for this command that I am going to run, you need Visual Studio Code installed in your system. Okay, so we just need to write code and we will create a hello.ts. TS for TypeScript file. Okay, so every file that you want to be as TypeScript, you have to give the .ts extension. That means TypeScript. For JS, we use JS. For JavaScript, we use JS, but for TypeScript, we need to use TS extension. Okay, so just press enter. You see, we have Visual Studio Code open. And the file is hello.ts. Okay. Now let's save this file. And you see here is a file created named hello.ts now inside this file we can write javascript code now let's print hello world so if you know javascript then i will i'm going to write a very simple javascript here as i told you all the codes that we write in javascript are valid in typescript so to print hello world we can write console dot log and we can pass Hello world, the first thing that we learn in any programming language. So that's it. This is the hello world thing. Now we need to learn how do we compile this thing. Okay. So come back to command prompt and to compile it. Let me show you. We can use TSC. TSC uh, hello dot TS. TSC is the TypeScript compiler. And then hello.ts, the file that we want to compile. And I already told you that this process is to be more specific. We call it as transpilation. So let's hit enter. And you see a new file of extension JS is created. So this file compiled and a JavaScript version is created. 
but for now we will see the same code in this file as well as we didn't write anything new this is a simple javascript and to compile this thing we can simply write npm hello dot js oops we don't write npm we write node actually okay i just forget it node hello dot js okay you see we are getting hello world and you can directly run that typescript file as well node hello dot ts you see we got the hello world so this is how we work with hello world and typescript now we can write some complicated code as well let's do it so we can simply write let's say we have a function now if you don't know about these things then don't worry we are going to learn everything from scratch just see for now okay so we have a function named let's say hello and here we will pass a name okay right now i'm writing javascript okay this is not typescript we will start typescript from the next video okay so we have a function this is pure javascript and then we can print console dot log and we can print hello and the name okay now we can write now we can call this method hello and we can pass let's say pass my name okay now we can do the same thing to run the code we can write uh, tsc hello dot ts it is compiled now open this file you see we have new thing now the function that we created now we don't have any changes because the code that we written in the typescript file is pure javascript okay so that is why we didn't get any changes now let's run it node hello.js hello bilal now we can directly run this thing as well node hello.ts so it is working so this was the hello world in typescript or we can say javascript from the next video we will start learning about typescript okay so that's it for this video guys and if you think this video was helpful to you and if you think that this series will help you i will post more videos as soon as possible then please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and you can share this video with your friends who want to learn about typescript okay so thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next video bye bye